The video demonstrates the installation and use of Wemacro Rail and Helicon Remote using a Mac with the M1 chip as an example. Search for FTDI VCP driver on Google and the first result will be the driver download link. For Windows 11 systems, please download the driver in the blue circle. For Mac OS 15, please download the driver in the red circle. For other systems, please select the corresponding file. For Mac OS 15, you need to drag the downloaded driver to the application's directory for installation, following the steps displayed on the screen. Please note that you should drag the downloaded file into the application directory for installation, rather than opening the file directly on the desktop. After installing the driver, connect the camera to the computer using a data cable. Connect the control box to the computer using a data cable. The USB cable included in the rail packaging has the interface shown in the image on the bottom left. The connector for the computer side is a USB type A interface. If the computer does not have a USB type A port, you will need to use a USB hub adapter. After confirming that all the connections are correctly made, first turn on the power of the Wemacro rail control box and then open Helicon Remote. Please note that this order must not be reversed. In the top right corner of the program, you can click on Select Camera. After clicking to open it, you should be able to see your camera and Wimacro rail. On the Preferences page of the program, click on Wimacro, and you can set the step size required for the specific lens. You can download our mobile app to calculate the step size, on the third page of smartphone app, there is a step size calculator for macro lenses and microscope objectives. You can find it by searching for Wemacro in the App Store. On the right side of the program, beneath the histogram, the focus bracketing area has six buttons that allow you to step forward or backward, either in multiple steps or single steps. When first using the program, please use a smaller step size to familiarize yourself with the operation. Move the rail and set the nearest point to the camera as point A. Then, move the rail forward to select the desired endpoint position, which is the furthest point, as point B. You can use the arrows to fine-tune the range. Once the B point is set, you have completed the entire range of shots that need to be taken before and after. Next, you need to set the total number of shots you will take within that range. It is important to note that the actual number of shots you need to take is one more than the number of steps you need to run as the initial first shot must also be included. Once the setup is complete, you can click Start Shooting. The rail will automatically return to point A and begin shooting, saving the results to the computer. At the bottom of the program, there will be a progress bar displaying the current shooting progress. After capturing the images, you can open Helicon Focus to perform image stacking.